Knowledge is probably the most valuable tool in the fight against a difficult disease like cancer, from learning about the newest treatments to hearing about the experience of the ill. But here's the thing, it can often be very hard for patients and their families to access such basic information. Now, one Israeli startup called Belong has created an app to combat this issue, and joining me to tell us more is the founder and CEO of the company, Eligan Malki. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you very much. Tell All right, so tell us a little bit about how Belong works and, and how the app, the app actually helps cancer patients and their families. Okay, so Belong is a cancer journey navigation app. It's helping patients to understand what's, the, what's their treatment, what is the situation they are in, what is the option they have to consult with uh, uh, experts from around the world and from patients like them that was in the same uh, uh, step, to consult with their physician in the hospital and everything they need to understand what's the best next steps just from one app from the living room. And it's funny because people don't understand the importance of an app like this because we're flooded with so much information on a daily basis, but yeah. I guess you kind of really help uh, patients find the most effective treatment, right? How, yeah. how do you kind of tailor to the specific needs of each person who's yeah. using this app? So, so the goal of Belong is actually to tailor every information the patient see in mm -hmm. the app to his situation, to the phases in, this, in, in, in the disease, and to actually the treatment is. So we start in the diagnostic phase, we learn from the thousands of patients, we have almost 25,000 patients already in Belong wow. today, quite wow. a lot, in, from 88 countries by the way. That's Israel amazing. and the US are the most, of course. So I'm assuming this app is in many different languages. Yeah, we can support many languages. The, the mass are in Hebrew or in English, of course, for the US. Mm -hmm. And they can, every step they can understand what is the options for them, according to the protocol, according to the different physician. They can actually ask for free physician from Mount Sinai, Dana Farber, or the top uh, physician and from Israel. And I'm assuming those physicians are also ranked, the, the quality of the physicians. Yes, so yes the best of the and, field. Wow, that's yes. amazing. Now, how did you come up with this idea? Um, I'm working with the same team for a few years, and um, in, I, I lost my grandfather to cancer and my mother's sister, and at that point, my uh, mother brother was sick. My CTO lost his mother to cancer a year before, and the VP R&D lost his father to cancer. Oh. And we had a dinner and we all talked about a lot of things and then we find out that uh, we all made mistakes. Although we could have a lot of, uh, uh, we had a lot of friends, we had enough funds to pay for the best physician, we made mistakes. You know, small mistakes that uh, if you have a metastatic cancer and you take uh, orange juice in the morning or you take vitamin C, it's very bad for you because it's actually helping the metastatic to grow faster in, many, in some cases or bad with the specific chemo you take. Or if you do a biopsy and you didn't ask for taking enough materials, you cannot make a genetic test, and you lose a lot of a lot of options later. Or a clinical trial. Well, I mean, I, I think a lot of you know one of the biggest issues that families have when they're facing diseases like this is that you always feel like you missed something or you could have gotten something right, and yes. the, but the information just wasn't there. So this is kind of collecting everything and, and putting it together and put it in the right place in right. the right time. It's very important. Just in CNN, I think uh, two years ago, they say. 30%, a third of the U.S. people, patient, doesn't get mm -hmm. the, uh, the effective cancer treatment. That's a big number. I mean, it's, it's absolutely crazy. And it, again, it comes down to that very fundamental and basic issue of just lack of knowledge. And, yeah. and I mean, I think that this is something that not only helps the patient, but probably the families as well who are dealing with this yeah. and, and don't want to feel like they've made the wrong move any way, you know, any step along the way. Now, what can we expect next for your company? You say you have 25,000 people on the platform. Are you expanding? Yeah, we're expanding now in the U.S. Um, next week I will be in uh, the, the biggest oncology uh, conference in the U.S. We're adding more physicians from the top uh, hospitals. We will add more hospitals. In Israel, we have three hospitals. In Canada, one. We are now adding more hospitals to work with their patients to bring better quality of life, hopefully uh, better survival, of course. And more, more important, opt, uh, optimize, optimize treatment. Optimize treatment is less uh, uh, side effects, less uh, infections, less money in some cases. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for coming in. It seems like you've really created a platform that's going to help a lot of people. And I, I hope that this actually goes beyond uh, just cancer specifically, but an array of it other diseases as well. All right. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.